Hey, look at this! Awesome, right? Awesome, right? Wait, what? What did you say? Nothing special here? Just running Rocket League from Steam? Well, look closer! Actually, we are on Linux, yes! Steam is the most popular platform for PC games, and there's more work than ever going into Linux support with the arrival of the Valve Steam Deck. For people who don't know what the Steam Deck is, it's fundamentally a handheld gaming PC. It's able to play games that were built for Windows operating system, with the option to suspend and resume games much like other portable gaming devices. Oh, and before I forget, please do all that stuff. It will make my day. It also enables players to access and play their Steam-based gaming library without needing to use a regular PC. The Valve Steam Deck uses SteamOS, Valve's Linux-based operating system, made specifically with gaming via Steam in mind. It looks like a Nintendo Switch with the option for players to connect it to a monitor or TV, as well as pair controllers, mice, or keyboards to it. The Steam Deck was initially only available on a reservation basis with a long waiting list. The first Steam Deck handheld devices were released on February 25, 2022. In the past few years, the Linux community has been blessed with some remarkable advancements in the area of package management on Linux systems, especially when it comes to universal or cross-distribution software packaging and distribution. One of such advancements is the Snap package format developed by Canonical, the makers of the popular Ubuntu Linux. Snaps are cross-distribution, dependency-free and easy-to-install applications packaged with all their dependencies to run on all major Linux distributions. From a single build, a Snap will run on all supported Linux distributions on desktop, in the cloud, and IoT. Supported distributions include Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Arch Linux, Manjaro, and CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system. Slaps are secure. They are confined and sandboxed so that they do not compromise the entire system. They run under different confinement levels, which is basically the degree of isolation from the base system and each other. More notably, every snap has an interface carefully selected by the snap's creator, based on the snap's requirements to provide access to specific system resources outside of their confinement such as network access, desktop access, and more. Another important concept in the snap ecosystem is channels. A channel determines which release of a snap is installed and tracked for updates and it consists of, and is subdivided by, tracks, risk levels, and branches. And now there's an upgraded version of the Snap package for Steam, aiming to make desktop Linux gaming even easier. Canonical partnered with Valve earlier this year to create a containerized Snap package for Steam. The Snap package bundles Steam with all required graphics and API libraries in one easy download for any Linux distribution that supports Snap, including Ubuntu, KDE Neon, Debian, Fedora, Pop OS, and others. Canonical has now rolled out updates to the Steam Snap. The main improvement is that Steam games will use bleeding edge versions of the Mesa graphics library, provided by the popular OIDAF repository. Canonical said in a blog post, this means your games will be able to take advantage of bleeding edge Mesa libraries without impacting the stability of your system or the overhead of adding the PPA and re-enabling after upgrading. There are more updates for the Snap package on the way, too. Canonical is working on migrating the Mesa libraries to a content Snap, so they can be managed independently of Steam. For example, you could choose the older stable drivers if you run into problems with newer versions. The Proton compatibility layer for running Windows games will also be enabled by default at some point. Snap packages are still controversial, since they aren't fully an open standard as Canonical controls the only Snap App Store and can have performance and usability drawbacks. However, Steam and installed games seem like the perfect use case for container technology like Snap. Games rarely need access to external files, and non-game software usually doesn't need bleeding-edge graphics drivers. Steam is available from Snapcraft. If you still don't like Snap, or your Linux distro doesn't have it installed, Steam is available as a regular Debian package also. There's also a community-developed Flatpak version, ideal for distributions not based on Debian. And now, it's your turn! I would like to know if you already installed and tested the Steam Snap and if it was something really easy, or if you encountered some issues with it, please let me know in the comment section below.